Hi, I'm Shantae Aguilar, and I wanted to share my testimony with you today. Growing up, uh, I had an abusive father who used to hurt me. When I was about one years old, they said that he used corporal punishment on me, and he burned me with hot water. I was taken away from the home and put into foster care, and then my brother was born, so they sent me back to live with my parents. Even then, my, my dad was still abusive, and around the age of four or five, my dad got really angry and spanked me with a belt and broke my leg. We got taken away that night, and I didn't get to see him until we went to court and he went to jail. We went to two different foster homes between then. Uh, it wasn't always a pleasant place to be. Sometimes you felt like they were just there for the money, uh, they didn't really care about you or love you. I used to go to school and be late, miss the bus, go to different neighbors' houses because uh, nobody really cared where I went. But probably around the age of six or seven, I found my forever home. I uh, got adopted with my brother into a loving home and my parents were uh, Christians and that's when I found the Lord. We were very active in our church and I've always had Christ in my life since then. My relationship with the Lord as a kid, um, I didn't really get it as a kid. I was trying to find where I belonged. I didn't party or anything like that, but I did rebel as in finding friendships and um, trying to find my worth with guys. When I was like 19, I left the home and went out on my own. My parents moved to Northern California, San Jose. I stayed here in Rancho Cucamonga and did anything that I wanted. Didn't really go to church, uh, didn't really pray, didn't really have a relationship with the Lord. I would just search for a relationship with a guy. You know, I would try to meet different people. Um, if that relationship fell through, you know, I just, feel so depressed, I feel suicidal, I feel like um, I didn't have love or self-esteem or anything. But then in 2014, I was um, invited to go to the Way World Outreach when they were on Sierra Way, and I rededicated my life to the Lord. It's just been an amazing experience. I've been attending since uh, the campus opened here on Hallmark. I signed up for um, starting. I, got, I went into prospering, freedom at the way. I really got serious about wanting to have a life with God in it and um, strengthening my family. Uh, my husband and I got married. I've realized that God was always there through all of my trials and hardships. If I could share one thing today that um, the Lord has really opened my eyes to is just dedicating and giving Him everything, no matter your mess. I also just would say, you know, get planted into something so you can grow and He can just stretch you tremendously. Going relationship to relationship, I found that the Lord loves me. Um, my identity is in Him. I am who He says I am. I am a child of God. Hello everyone, welcome to the Wayworld Outreach. We're so glad you're here. My name is Mike. And I'm Kurt. And what a testimony we just heard. Incredible. Incredible huh, story of how God really moved in Shantae's life. She was born into some really difficult circumstances that got worse. Yes. But in yes. the middle of that, God saved her, brought her to a Christian home, began to teach her about who he really was. But even then, she wandered, she strayed, she didn't really embrace faith until just a few years ago where she chose to seek God mm. and God turned everything around for her. I know you had a Bible verse well, just, just about that. Yeah, in Jeremiah 29, 11 through 13, it talks about God having a plan for us to give us a future, to give us a hope, not to harm us, but to prosper us. And you could tell that God had a plan for Shante, but it also says that we need to seek him with all of our heart. And when we seek, we will find. And she found the Lord, man. Absolutely. God is so good. You know, a lot of times we get questioned, hey, why do we show these testimonies every week? Right. We show these testimonies because we want to give testimony or evidence of God's reality to every single person that's in our services, to those who watch online. When we share these stories, we're, we're showing you lives that are truly being Absolutely. changed by God's power. And that's made possible by people who like Shantae, seek him, and also us coming together as a church 
to make a place where God can move and do miracles like he's doing every Sunday here at the Way World Outreach. Absolutely. So right now we're going to come together as a church and bring our tithes and offerings. This is a yeah. great moment, Kurt. I love it. This is a I moment where it. more lives can be changed. Not only those that we like we saw of Shantae's, but our own lives can Everyone. be changed yes. as we give. So there's three ways to give in today's offering. All right, the first way to give is through the Wayworld Outreach app. Super simple, Mike. You just push the buttons, push give, follow the instructions. Super easy, man. Absolutely. And the second way is even easier, Kurt. Nothing. It's to go on any device, any browser, to visit the website, theway.gives. If you visit that website, theway.gives, with an S, it takes you to that same page, so you can give directly to and our church. And we can do that right now. And you can do that right now. And the third way to give is in person. If you're here in the sanctuary right now, you can hop up and visit one of our giving kiosks. There's an envelope and a pin waiting for you to give your cash or check donation. And the third way to give, you can come right into the church office on Monday through Friday between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. and drop it off in person right here at the front desk. And there'll always be someone here to receive it with a smile. Now we're gonna invite our worship team to come sing one final song, and as they do, we want to encourage you to take this moment to give. Jump out into the aisles and visit one of our kiosks, go on to the Wayworld Outreach app, or visit the website theway.gives and give. God bless you as you do.